The first was when the curtain was opened. Mr. Gardner's head was restrained. Um, there was a strap across his forehead, so he couldn't move his head. But I could see him moving his eyes, and it looked almost like he could see us through the window, even though he couldn't. What uh, caught my attention was that it was so sudden, so quick, uh, boom, boom, just like that. It was over pretty quickly. It was cleaner than I expected, and it was fast. Um, but, but he moved. He moved a little bit, and to some degree that bothers me. Um, to some degree that mirrors the last few weeks of his life because he was fighting to stay alive the last few weeks of his life legally and that seemed to carry on the last uh, 60 to 120 seconds. When he was shot, some of us, I think, weren't sure if he had passed away because we could see movement. He had his fist clenched and we can see his elbow move up and down and uh, his thumb and forefingers moving, uh, rubbing against each other. Before we went in to the uh, execution room, they, they warned us that if the first round of shots doesn't fire him, we'll have to fire again. And I don't know about the others, but I think for a brief second we were starting to wonder if that was going to happen because he kept moving. And those were the, that's what stood out most to me. It was um, uh, almost clinical and um, very sanitary. The, the other observation would be um, after a, it seemed like a couple of minutes, but it was much faster than that. We could see there was some change in the coloration of, it was a navy blue, dark blue jumpsuit he was wearing. It was like blood may have been pooling around his waist, but you could tell that something was changing around his waist. And 